Hi, what's going on everyone? It's Mr. West. I hope we're all well. Uh, so it's Royal Wedding Day today in the UK and there's hordes of people outside buying stuff for their street parties and their barbecues. So I've come to the relative safety of the indoors to unbox the Huawei P20. So this is the middle of the range. This obviously sits in between the P20 Lite, which is the budget offering. And we've also got the P20 Pro, of course, which is kind of the poster child for the whole P20 range. Uh, this is still promising to be a really good device. I've yet to try it's still in the wrapping and it's got the dual camera system rather than the triple cameras that the P20 Pro has. It also has four gigabytes of RAM instead of six gigabytes of RAM, but it does share the same processor and AI system that the larger brother has. It's also got an IPS LCD panel rather than the OLED panel on the P20 Pro. However, haven't seen some videos already, the panel does look very, very good and we'll see what it's all about in this unboxing video. So that's enough of me talking for this. Let's get into the unboxing and see what the P20 is all about. All right, so this is the Huawei P20 retail packaging. We'll do a quick tour around the box. There's nothing exciting on the box itself, but we'll show you what's on the packaging itself. So Huawei P20 logo up front here. Down the bottom, we've got the IMEI details, and this tells us that it's the Huawei P20. It's black, 128 gigabytes of ROM and four gigabytes of RAM. Huawei P20, Huawei. Huawei P20. And on the back here, we've got it's uh, been printed in soy ink, so it's environmentally friendly, and that is pretty much it. So let's get into the box and see what this is all about. Cool, so here's the phone itself. So we'll just pop that off to one side just for a moment. Looks to be some manuals. Wow, we've got a case. So it's a clear perspex case, so any case is better than nothing, I think. So I'll just pop that up there. So we've got some instructions and a user guide and warranty card. So we've got the SIM eject tool here as well. So this is a Huawei supercharger. This outputs five volts of output, so it gives you rapid, fast charging. USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Huawei earbuds. Now these look suspiciously like Apple earpods, and they've got a USB-C connector. And we've also got the dongle then if you want to use a standard set of earbuds or headphones. So that's cool. So here it is then. This is the Huawei P20. So this one comes in black and if we just take a look at the rear we've got the dual camera setup there and we've got the Leica branding we've got a two-tone flash and it looks like these are the phase detection focus so on the sides here we've got the sim card tray on the right we've got the power key which has got a red accent through it, which looks quite nice and then we've got the up and down volume rocker keys on the right hand side as well so a bit different to what I'm usually used to my volume rocker my OnePlus is down on the left hand side but with this I, th I think that feel, obviously feels a bit more natural very much like the Xiaomi handsets where it's just resting above where your finger would naturally sit on the power key so that's cool so on the front there we've got the 24 megapixel front facing camera and we've got the singular earpiece this does not have stereo speakers like the p20 the bottom firing speaker is down here and then one of the microphones is hidden in there as well we've got the USB-C charging port and obviously io if you want to transfer data in and out of the phone and that is pretty much it this is a 5.84 inch IPS LCD panel. It's got a notch, which we'll see in a moment. But the overall feel of the phone is very, very solid. It's got lovely build quality and the rails on the side here, which are made of metal, I feel nice and cool in the hand as well. So let's go ahead and peel off this plastic. We've got the built-in screen protector, which has been installed from the factory. So that's a nice inclusion. Obviously, this has got Gorilla Glass 5, but I did find that Gorilla Glass 5 does scratch up a lot easier than normal Gorilla Glass 4. So that is the product tour. It looks very, very nice. I mean, this has got fingerprints already on the back, but nothing too, nothing too major. The back does feel a little bit, hmm, I'm not sure. It does feel a little bit flimsy, if you like. That would probably break up quite easily if you didn't uh, look after that correctly. And that is it. So let's go ahead and power up just a few of the highline specs as I said so it's got a 5.8 inch 2240 by 1080 pixel main display which is an IPS LCD panel and it's got four gigabytes of RAM and includes the high silicon Kirin 970 processor which is also in the Huawei P20 Pro. It's got a 3,400 milliamp hour battery. As I said at the start of the video, it's got 120 gigabytes of built-in storage and four gigabytes of RAM. So the dual cameras are 12 megapixel and 20 megapixel Leica optics. 
got two times loss of zoom, phase detection and laser autofocus and an LED flash. So video recording is 2160, so that's 4K at 30 frames per second. And then we've got 1080p at 30 stroke 60 frames per second and 720p at 960 frames per second for slow motion. So it's got built-in optical image stabilization, but as far as I'm aware, that only works in 1080p mode and not in 4K. However, I fully expect that Huawei will fix that with a later firmware upgrade. So the 24 megapixel camera up front here is f.2 aperture and it's got 1080p up to 30 frames per second video capture so that pretty much rounds up most of the highline specs in the handset so we've also got a fingerprint scanner embedded at the front here now we did have some hands on time with the honor 10 on wednesday that has actually got the embedded fingerprint scanner so it's actually embedded underneath the glass rather than being a separate unit at the bottom of the screen here so uh, i'm actually used to this location because that's where it is on my oneplus device so that will feel quite natural to me as well so let's go ahead and switch on the device and go through setup and i'll be back in a few moments and then we'll go through the rest of the unboxing we're now fully back up from my oneplus account and we've got all of my apps hopefully installed on the huawei p20 so this is the biometric screens we've got fingerprint unlock and set face unlock so we'll go ahead and do the fingerprint first okay so let's see how fast this is so here we go actually that's really quick let's try all different sides of my thumbprint cool that's pretty quick, not bad. So you've now got face unlock as well. All right. So from watching Texilla's video, this is pretty accurate. So I'm gonna have to do this off camera, bear with. So one thing I did notice when I put my primary SIM into the phone is that it's pulled down a lot of this three branding. Now I did read this both in the insiders uh, comments thread and also I've heard it from others as well. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that because surely this is a SIM free phone. If you were to buy this, outright then it should be your choice whether you want the branding of your network carrier or not uh, with my oneplus device it doesn't do that and many other devices that i've tried so that's a little bit disappointing it's not a big deal but i hope it doesn't three brand all of the menus and everything because that would be really really annoying three as a carrier have actually unlocked all of their phones anyway and they carry very little bloatware so hopefully this will just be for the three app for example and obviously to install the data services needed to run on the network so i haven't installed nova launcher we're just going to use the huawei emui which is the the standard stock launcher for this phone is still pulling down some of my apps in the background however so let's take a quicker look at the menu itself so um right it's going to take a little bit of getting used to so okay so we've got all the apps like these we've got google assistant off to the left of the screen there and back onto the main screen we've just got the standard icons here we've got all the google stuff in one folder nice and smooth Obviously, being used to Nova Launcher, this still take a little bit of getting used to. So we do need to install an app drawer, I think, as well, because obviously I'm used to flicking up from the bottom of the screen and getting all my recent apps. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the look is quite clean. I mean, this screen, the icons are really cool. It looks like they've been painted over the top, which is cool. This is quite a reminiscent look of the iPhone where uh, the screen is laminated very close to the glass. So when you look at the icons, they look like they're sort of following your finger across the it's left and right of the screen so that's cool uh, the screen itself is pretty bright let's just pump it up to full brightness so there we go we're on full brightness now obviously this wallpaper is not ideal so so pinch two fingers together to manage home screen okay so we've got wallpapers setting wallpaper so the ui is nice and smooth i think let's just take a look in the menu section so let's go into the gear settings icon so yeah we've got quite a lot of options in here as well so if we go into display so we've got an option here then to hide the notch at the top of the screen now over the last couple of days i've kind of warmed to the notch i've made a video previously saying uh, how much i dislike the notch but i think in the current release cycle of phones this is something which is going to stay until manufacturers work out how to cram everything on one display and then get the camera in there somewhere obviously you've got the default there we can see the notch if we just hide the notch this then puts a bar at the top of the display so uh, this actually gives you 5.8 inches of usable screen area the 0.84 that you see in the specs is actually in the notch area there um i'm not sure that I'll, over time i'm sure i'll uh, i'll work out which one i actually uh, prefer so we're going to keep the notch on for the moment so we're on screen navigation keys here the actual look and feel is pretty good i mean this ips lcd panel is actually a lot better than i thought it was going to be uh, my main phone has got an amoled panel 
and that is really really saturated and very bright whereas this is much more uniform and has more of a, a sort of richer look to it so i do like that this is something i'm going to be looking out for once i uh, put my review together it's got the usual stuff here we've got the wireless networks device connection for example bluetooth nfc and easy projection uh, apps and notifications so that gives you control of what apps have permissions to do what we've got the battery here so we've got 44 percent at the moment so when i took this out of the box I had 59 percent so we're down to 44 percent it has been installed on my apps in the background over a cellular service so that is expected and we've got nine hours and 13 minutes left on the battery which is quite good uh, if we click on power saving mode that actually gives us 20 hours left so we're just going to take that off for now then we've got ultra power saving mode that would give me two days and 21 hours remaining wow so we've got we can then adjust the screen resolution so we've got hd which is 1496 by 720 and then we've got full hd which we're on now which is 2244 by 1080 which is high quality we've then got smart resolution which automatically lowers resolution to help save power but we'll keep it on full hd for the time being because like 720p hmm, maybe some cheap chinese phones but not here so let's just take a quick look at the navigation so we've got the uh, top bar here so this is very android-esque it does look a little bit different with the huawei emui overlay as well but it's serviceable and it does everything that you need it to and it's very very familiar for anyone who's used android previously so we'll just flick away all of these my apps are still installed in the background that's absolutely crazy i've got so many of them so yeah the general navigation feels cool this is going to take a little bit of getting used to um, and I'm a little bit annoyed that Candy Crush Saga has been pre-installed onto the phone. So we just need to get rid of that, I think, and install. Yeah, so there's, you know, even though this is SIM free, because it's pulled down uh, information from the three servers, it's decided it wants to install bloatware on the phone, even though I said I didn't want it. So uh, that's a little bit annoying. But again, something you can live with and something you can actually uninstall later on. But I can see why that may get on some people's nerves. So let's take a closer look at the back of the handset so we can see now with the plastic removed we've got a couple of fingerprints there so we've got the huawei logo here and then we've got the leica branding with the two-tone flash so we've got the uh, phase detection autofocus and also the laser autofocus here and then we've got the two camera modules there which look quite smart however one thing i did notice is when you've got the phone on a table you get this rocking effect on the cameras so i'm not sure if these are going to get scratched up but we'll put the case on in a minute now and see how all of that looks as well i do like this red accent in the power button that does look really smart so let's try the fingerprint sensor wow that is quick that's as fast as my oneplus 3t easily that is a really fast and accurate fingerprint sensor do need to get used to this screen though you can i'm not sure if you can see it but i can see the screen is auto dimming as i'm going through this video so that's something that I need to get used to. I, there doesn't seem to be any way to switch that off. So that is a little bit disappointing. So, so let's go ahead and take a look at how everything looks on the screen. So let's just select my Google account. Speaker's not bad. I'm wearing the lav mic in case you're wondering. okay so video doesn't look too bad on this screen either the speaker it does sound it feels quite deep it resonates quite uh, nicely to the handset but it's not especially bassy or anything i don't think it's as good as like an iphone speaker but you know this does uh, this does look okay this isn't ideal in this studio lighting but once we get home and uh, i get to use it in a, just a more standard living situation perhaps it'll look a little bit better so apart from that that is the phone itself let's just try out these cameras while we're here right so we've got the ai mode here which recognizes up to 500 different scenarios to give you better colors so let's just take a picture of these little plants here so we can see that the ai if i just show you now you can't see it so you can see i've pointed it at the small so if we just put one of these here if we just point the camera and it's recognized that it's greenery so that's cool it actually recognizes what it is so let's just take a photo and see how it looks so that's not bad that's something that uh, we'll need to look at in the full review i'll take a few snaps and i'll put them on my social channels 
uh, which you'll see on the screen now. Uh, follow me on there and you can see updates on this and see how all the pictures look. Once we get outside, that'll be the best way to test that. Uh, let's take a look on the selfie camera. Yeah, and that doesn't look too bad. Again, these are things I'll put on my social channels and you'll be able to see those for yourself. So before I sign off from this unboxing, let's just see what it looks like in this case. So this case is just a serviceable rubber perspex case and it does fit nice and offers you a little bit of protection over the camera lenses there kind of rate is more flush and in line with the lip and also got the key space for the two-tone flash so yeah that is serviceable there are better cases and i will get hold of a few and see what they look like on the phone so that is my quick unboxing of the huawei p20 if you've got any comments or questions please leave those in the comment section i will do my best to answer your response as soon as i can uh, also don't forget to like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this don't forget to like and share this and also subscribe so you don't miss out on the full review which will be coming in a few weeks time don't forget to follow me on my social channel Channels as well so you can see updates on pictures and video from this phone and also updates on my usage of the device over the next couple of weeks but for now this has been my unboxing of the Huawei P20 my name is Mr West and I will catch you guys 